Over the past few years, the state of Connecticut has seen a major rise in the number of heroin and opioid overdoses. In the town of Wallingford, in the past year alone, this so-called crisis has taken dozens of lives. Now, the school system is doing all they can to prevent accidental overdoses by carrying a reversal drug called Narcan. We did develop uh, protocols that they would follow to assess the student um, to, and what to do in the event that they thought somebody was under the influence of a uh, narcotic. And while the schools are aware that this will not stop students from taking drugs, Superintendent Salvatore Menzo says that carrying the drug is just one part of the big picture. We see this as many, one of many different facets of our approach. Um, we believe that curriculum instruction is the key, educating students on the um, difficulties that occur because of addiction. This is one proponent, or one, one component rather, of that process. Um, Thankfully, there has not been any incidences in the school where the use of Narcan was needed, but the precautions the town is taking could end up saving a life. Well, obviously it's a quick intervention and it could save a life, so it's another method of medical care intervention, no different than when we use an EpiPen. The community has been extremely supportive of the schools now holding this drug, and many school officials and parents say that they only hope that this will be a step in the right direction for their kids. We're their parents when they're in school, and um, you know, they're, all 6,000 students are my children during the day. So as their quote-unquote father, you want to provide them with the safest environment, and I think that they see that and they take it in the vein that it's meant to be. Not that we're accusing them of anything, but that we want to be supportive of them. Anna Sackle, Q30 News.